The legend of Bigfoot has fascinated and perplexed people for generations. While many view Bigfoot as a benign or even gentle giant of the forest, there exists a darker and more sinister perspective that connects Bigfoot to ancient and malevolent origins. These theories delve into the realms of the Nephilim, demons, dark fae, aliens, and other supernatural entities, suggesting that Bigfoot may not be the elusive but harmless creature many believe it to be. One of the most intriguing and ancient theories posits that Bigfoot may be linked to the Nephilim, a race of giants mentioned in the Bible. The Nephilim were the offspring of the sons of God and the daughters of men, and were described as mighty and fearsome beings. These beings were said to have existed in the days before the Great Flood, an event intended to cleanse the world of its corruption. However, some interpretations of biblical texts and apocryphal writings suggest that the Nephilim may have survived the Flood. There were a number of ways to survive, including divine intervention, emigration to far-off locales, or even chance. If the Nephilim did survive, it is conceivable that they could have continued to propagate evolving over millennia into what we now recognize as Bigfoot. Their immense size, strength, and perhaps even spiritual corruption could be traits passed down through generations, manifesting in the elusive and often fearsome creatures reported today. Another theory delves into the realm of demonology. Demons, as malevolent spiritual entities, have long been associated with chaos, violence, and destruction. Some researchers and folklorists propose that Bigfoot could be a demonic entity or a creature influenced by demonic forces. Numerous reports and legends describing encounters with Bigfoot that involve an overwhelming sense of dread, unexplainable fear, and even physical aggression support this hypothesis. These creatures have reportedly chased, harassed, and attacked witnesses, indicating that their motives may not be entirely benign. In demonology, certain entities are known to manifest in physical forms that are grotesque and terrifying, designed to invoke fear and exert control over human beings. If Bigfoot is indeed a demonic manifestation, its primary purpose could be to sow fear and chaos among those who encounter it, aligning with the traditional objectives of demonic entities. The concept of Dark Fae also offers a chilling explanation for the Bigfoot phenomenon. In folklore, fae or fairies are often depicted as capricious and sometimes malevolent beings. Dark fae in particular are known for their trickery, malevolence, and propensity for causing harm to humans. Within the realm of dark fae there exists the Unseelie Court, a classification of fae that is particularly malicious and dangerous. The Unseelie Court is known for its hostility towards humans, delighting in causing terror and mischief. Some believe that Bigfoot could be a form of dark fae or a creature under their influence. Stories from various cultures that describe encounters with hairy humanoid beings that demonstrate supernatural abilities such as vanishing into thin air or exerting control over the minds and emotions of those who encounter them support this theory. If Bigfoot is indeed connected to the Unseelie Court, its presence in human inhabited areas could be an extension of the dark fae's ongoing campaign to disrupt and terrorize human lives. The realm of speculative theories surrounding Bigfoot also extends into the extraterrestrial, with some suggesting that Bigfoot could have connections to evil aliens. According to this theory, Bigfoot might not even be a terrestrial creature, but rather an entity that evil extraterrestrial beings brought to Earth. Reports of Bigfoot sightings often coincide with UFO activity, leading some to speculate that these creatures could be alien experiments or even alien beings themselves sent to observe or interfere with human activities. The idea of evil aliens using Bigfoot as a tool or a form of biological surveillance is a chilling one, suggesting that these creatures could have been genetically engineered or otherwise manipulated to serve a purpose beyond mere survival. This perspective introduces the notion that Bigfoot's origins might be intergalactic and its presence on Earth could be part of a larger, more sinister agenda, orchestrated by advanced beings with unknown intentions. Such a theory adds another layer of complexity and fear to the Bigfoot legend, intertwining it with the broader and equally mysterious phenomenon of extraterrestrial encounters. Beyond these supernatural theories, there are numerous reports of violent encounters with Bigfoot that lend credence to the idea of its dark origins. There have been reports of large, hairy creatures pursuing hikers and campers aggressively in the Pacific Northwest, for instance. In some instances, these encounters have led to physical harm, with victims reporting that the creature struck, bit, or threw them. 
Such accounts paint a picture of a being that is far from the gentle forest guardians some imagine, instead suggesting a creature with a propensity for violence and territorial aggression. Some individuals have reported being taken against their will by Bigfoot creatures, with various accounts describing the beings as using a combination of strength and stealth to overpower their victims. These alleged abductions have sparked fear and fascination among those who believe in the existence of these elusive creatures, adding another layer of mystery to the already enigmatic phenomenon of Bigfoot sightings. Many people vanish in the woods every year, and Bigfoot has been blamed. Additionally, indigenous legends from various cultures often portray Bigfoot-like creatures as dangerous and malevolent. Native American tribes in particular have a rich tapestry of lore that includes fearsome, hairy giants. The stories of the Wendigo, for example, describe a monstrous, cannibalistic entity associated with insatiable hunger and madness. While not identical to Bigfoot, the Wendigo shares similarities in its appearance and behaviors, leading some to draw connections between the two. Similarly, the Tsul'kalu of the Cherokee, a giant with immense strength and supernatural abilities, was both respected and feared, known to abduct children and adults alike. In the lore of the Hoopa tribe, there are tales of the Oma, a large hairy creature that dwells in the forests and mountains, often acting aggressively towards those who encroach on its territory. These legends serve as a stark reminder that not all encounters with the unknown should be romanticized or taken lightly. Regardless of origin, there are many characteristics of Bigfoot that fit an evil narrative. In the darker theories surrounding Bigfoot, the creature is attributed a range of supernatural abilities that elevate it beyond a mere undiscovered primate. Drawing from its proposed connections to the Nephilim demons and Dark Fae, Bigfoot is said to possess superhuman strength and speed, allowing it to perform impossible physical feats. An alleged ability to vanish at will, possibly through teleportation, shape-shifting, or cloaking, explains its elusive nature. The creature is also thought to have the power to induce overwhelming fear in witnesses, suggesting a capacity for psychological manipulation. Some accounts describe an uncanny intelligence and cunning far beyond animal instinct, hinting at an otherworldly origin. Lastly, if truly supernatural in nature, Bigfoot might be resistant to conventional forms of harm, further adding to its mystique and the terror it inspires in these sinister interpretations. While the image of Bigfoot as a mystical and benign creature persists in popular culture, there is a compelling body of evidence and folklore that suggests a much darker origin. Whether linked to the ancient Nephilim, demonic influences, dark fae, or simply a manifestation of primal violence, the darker side of Bigfoot lore should not be dismissed. As with many legends, the truth may lie somewhere in the intersection of myth and reality, urging us to approach the unknown with both curiosity and caution.